Maybe I need to zoom out. Hey everybody, I'm Jay and I'm a beauty editor. So some of you may know that I am a beauty editor and other of you may not know, but I am an actual published beauty editor whilst also being a makeup artist and content creator. That is what else I do. I write for editorial outlets. So that means I get a lot of products and I try a lot of products, which also means I have a lot of empties and I'll be talking about later how to properly recycle them. Hello, editing Jay here. I'm editing the video as you can see and I realized I totally forgot to tell you how I recycle the products. So after I've already bagged them up, I just make sure they're all cleaned out and I take them over to my local Credo Beauty. They are in major cities. I don't think they're in smaller cities, but that's okay because there's another option. And you can return or drop off 15 products a month and that turns into 150 points. And those points you can use to get a full size product if you get enough points. And you can also use them on services as well, which is really cool. They recycle with TerraCycle and TerraCycle has figured out the proper way to recycle beauty, skincare, and hair products. And if you don't have a Crudo Beauty near you, you can get your own TerraCycle box sent to your house and then they'll schedule a pickup, I guess, I don't know if it's every month or every three months, that's something you can look at. But if you're interested in properly to properly recycling your products, definitely check them out or check out your local Credo because they also have the most amazing collection of clean beauty products. So there you go. Okay, back to the video, bye. But I thought before I do go recycle them and get rid of it, I don't know, I thought it could be kind of fun to go through, basically go through my trash and tell you what I liked and what I didn't like. I feel like you're so far away. Is this a weird angle? Yeah, I wanted to go through basically all of my bins of recyclables of products that I've used and let you know what I liked and what I didn't like. Okay, so let's go through this first bag here. Oh my gosh, I forgot to talk about something. Ah! We didn't even talk about my hair. So this is what my hair is looking like as you know if you watch my last video and if you haven't watched my last video please do that why not you're here we're all in quarantine you've got the time to watch this one you should definitely watch the last one and i'll hit it with a card right here so my last video i took out my faux locks and i decided to go back to my natural hair which is these and <clears throat> I said in the video I was gonna be doing moisture training because I knew that my hair was gonna be good dry and it was real dry. So I was going to do moisture training which was basically watching my hair every three days and not adding more oil to my hair after using products because most products for curly hair have a ton of oil in anyway. So I really wanted to listen to my hair, use obviously a lot of water on my hair, again washing it every three days, a ton of water is hitting my hair and see how my hair basically was readjusting to one being out and two all this new moisture but it has been going so well my hair is so defined I'm still using the same three products which is washing my hair with whichever shampoo and conditioner I have currently which has been Briogeo and then uh, as a leave-in I've actually been using we'll talk about this later um, Cantu as my leave-in and then using the Lusters S Curl Curl and Wave Gel Activator. This is the blue one, but it's finished, obviously. And sealing it with, y'all already know, y'all already know. The Wet Line Extreme is the best. We'll talk about it. Oh girl, I had to break and get some lunch. What's this lash name? What's this lash? I'm trying these pre-glued lash I got. Pre-glued lash. Pre-glued lash. Pre-glued lashes I got in PR. I don't know how I feel about them. When I tell you, my hair has never felt softer, lighter, fluffier than it is now, I am, I'm shook. I don't know what to say, like I'm in shock. 
My hair has never felt this way. It's never looked this good. I did cut my bangs. If you could see my last video, the bangs were looking pretty gnarly. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I did honestly just take scissors and right across the top. And I feel myself literally cutting my hair every single time I shampoo and condition my hair. I don't know. It's just like one of those things like you'll find like another like rogue hair that'll be like here. I'm like, oh, I guess I should cut it and come to find out it's right back here. But you know. We live and we learn, but honestly, it's turned out really, really great, and I'm stoked on it. So, I definitely recommend moisture training. I'm literally only using, after I shampoo and conditioner, a leave-in, and then a curl activating gel, and then my wet line, girl. Wet line is everything, everything, okay? It's so good. So that being said, let's get into my trash. So the first bag I have here are all like bigger bottles. So I kind of will like lump them and group them into like one category. So the first category that I'm seeing right off the top is body lotions. I have quite a few here. I have the Palmer's All School Coconut Oil Body Lotion. Then the Necessaire, the Body Lotion. Pharmacy. Honey, buddy, honey Butter Body and Honest Face and Body Lotion and this is the Lavender Scent. Now out of all of these, my absolute three favorites is Honest because it's really light and fluffy. It's perfect for the summer. This is what I've been using every day. I think there's another body bottle squirreling around in one of these bags because I've bought three of these within just quarantine. Just the last three months because I go through it so quickly, but it's because it's so light and it goes on and it doesn't like make you feel sticky and gross for five hours after you've moisturized your body. So I'm loving this one. And again, clean formula. Um, interestingly enough, you cannot find this in the beauty aisle of Target. You find this in the baby aisle. So it probably definitely is for babies. Um, but honest, the brand itself is just for everybody. So. I don't see why you and your baby can't use it at the same time, or just you. I like the lavender shade myself. Um, shade? The lavender scent, whoa. It's very light, it's not too uh, highly fragranced, and it's got some really, really yummy ingredients in it, so I recommend that. And then second to that, another one I'm loving, or I loved, is the Necessaire. Um, it has vitamin A, B, C, E, omega-3, 6, and 9. This is just a really good lotion. It's a great lotion. It is a great all year round lotion. Whilst this is good for summer, this is a good all year round lotion and it's clean. You'll see that as most of my items, like I only try to use clean things on my body and my face or in my hair in my whole life because everything should be clean. There shouldn't be toxins in anything. But yeah, this one is great all year round. And then my third favorite out of all these is the Honey Butter Body. This is a great um, winter lotion. Awesome. When you are feeling dry, your angles is looking a little ashy, you look a little crusty, this is it. Again, another clean formula, you can't beat it. And then this one, this, I don't know, I just had this from somebody. Somebody gave this to me. And basically, this is one of those lotions if like your bag gets lost when you go on a flight, you have to go to Walmart or Target, you pick this up, It'll work, it'll get the job done, but it's just, I don't know, it's not my favorite. The other ones are. And then I have, let's see, two shampoos in here. These are the Hydra Repair um, Shampoo and Conditioner. If you have watched my, I done my hair blonde video, which is why I have remnants of blonde in my hair, um, you know that I, would, I used these shampoo and conditioners because this was for color treated hair. And honestly, it was just okay. It was fine. I didn't find it, oh wow, like so hydrating. My hair has never felt more hydrated. I didn't feel like that, but I also didn't feel like this is the worst shampoo and conditioner. It was just, okay. Uh, and then I have two body washes. I have the Nubian Heritage Honey and Black Seed Body Wash. And then I also have the Native Body Wash, and this is in Cucumber and Mint. Can't say anything wrong about these. These are both awesome. Awesome. And you can find them both at Target. And I think they're the exact same price. I think they're $9.99. So can't beat it. And this one literally has all the ingredients laid out on the back. And then it tells you what each ingredient does. How smart is that? It's amazing. Then I have copious amount 
of beauty products. I have the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser. It's a good face wash, it's very nourishing. And then I have, for face washes in this bag, uh, the Deep, the Rice Polish in Deep from Tatcha. Um, I have the St. Ives Cleansing Stick, which this for me was just a travel stick that I would put in my luggage and know that it's not gonna be taken away. I'll have a backup face wash if they try to play me and take away my face wash. Ugh. And then I also have the Vegan Milk Cleanser. Um, out of all of these, obviously this is like the grossest one and it's not clean. But again, I used it for if my liquid cleanser got taken away, I knew I'd have a backup. So I have that. And I'm obsessed with the Rice Polish. I highly recommend you getting them. This is an incredible exfoliant. And the Vegan Milk Cleanser is very moisturizing. And then the rest of this is basically all treatments and serums. So Acne Assassin by Sorel Skincare. I've already gone through two bottles in like the last like month and a half alone. Um, this is incredible. This is hands down 100%. Yes, yes, yes. 100 million percent, 10 out of 10. The best acne serum you can get. And it's made in a girl's kitchen in New York City. The most incredible natural clean ingredients 10 out of 10 room would recommend Sorel skincare acne assassin or the whole acne arsenal so you get the face wash the serum and the moisturizer oh this one's really good this is the niacinamide treatment from peter thomas roth this is an excellent um discoloration treatment which is but it also leaves your skin super moisturized um and basically i got this from peter thomas roth um, and I tried it for a month straight and I have a lot of um, acne scarring because I do pop my zits. I know, I know, I know, you shouldn't, but I do, so I have scarred from that. Um, and this is one of my top 10 best discoloration treatments. Um, I have a Myro pod from my deodorant. Myro is great, but I have a new favorite deodorant that Maybe I'll talk about it in another video. Let me know if you want like a current one I'm using um, video. I'd be happy to do that because I'm a product junkie, so I'm always trying something new. But my AeroPods, oh, this is so rubbed off, but this is a Peter Thomas Roth Collagen Treatment uh, Serum. So good, it's from their Firmex line. And when I say firm, like you are firm. And then I also have the Firmex Collagen Moisturizer, one of my absolute favorites. Again, if you're starting to feel like a little crow's feety, not that I was, but I'm also into preventative care. If you're starting to feel some uh, some smile lines, so you got some L's going on, get the Firm X line from Peter Thomas Roth. This is an excellent, excellent moisturizer. Um, the whole collection is fantastic. You won't regret it. It's expensive, but it's really, really good. Then I have one of my best drugstore toners. This is the Clarifying Problem Skin Toner from African Shea Moisture with African Black Soap. This is just such an excellent drugstore toner and it works. It is so easy. Spray it onto your face and you're good to go. And it really does help calm down the acne. And it's like $9 from Target. Come on, this is probably gonna seem so sacrilegious, but this is the Kudali Beauty Elixir. I'm pretty sure Kudali's products break me out. Which is why this is half full because every time I would spray my face with this, I'd wake up with zits. And I mean like zits, zits. So I think this is a no for me. Um, this I had gotten from PR a long time ago and stopped using it basically once I started using the Milk Makeup Powder. But this is the Wouter by Glossé. This is definitely not clean. If you want to know, I was in shade light medium. If you're not into clean products, then this is a fine powder. If you're into clean products, don't use this. Um, let's see. Oh, this one is just old. This is the Miracle Gel Top Coat um, by Sally Hansen. And this one was just literally just old and goopy and like, ugh, look at that, like goopy and gross. So I just had to like get rid of it and get a new one. And then what else do I have in here? Oh, uh, CC Serum by Summer Fridays. This is a great vitamin C serum. This is a deodorant by Milk Makeup. It's fine, but again, I have a new one which I'm not changing ever again. It's the best deodorant I've ever discovered in the world. And then, if you notice that my brows are a lot fluffier and bolder, I've been using um, the Kush Grow House by Milk Makeup for 
over a year now, it really works. You can use this on your brows and your lashes and it has grown back my brow hair, so yes. And then for the end of this bag, so that was bag one, wow, bag two. As you can see, I'll just do the Cantu in this at the same time. Um, oh, I may not have any more Cantu at all, which means I need to make a target around this lash. Let me tell y'all something. Is lying on me. This is the leave-in I've been using. Obviously, got the big container because it was like six dollars, and I have like a corner left in there. Honestly, I might just like pump that in my hair before I drop this off. And it's great. Cantu is great. Honestly, their ingredients aren't terrible, actually at all, and they're really inexpensive. And there's no sulfates, parabens, silicones, phthalates, paraffins, and propylene glycol. So. I've been using that, and then I also had from before, from a while ago, which I don't know why I have this, but I have the Curl Activator Cream. I used it just so I could finish it. Um, it's a fine leave-in too. Honestly, all for me, all of them are interchangeable. They're new. There is a new avocado line, which I'm interested in trying. Um, so when I pick it up, I'll let you know. But these are great. More surreal skincare. This is the Bacteria Blaster. This is their version of a gel um, toner. Incredible. This with Acne Assassin, incredible. So good. And then one of my favorite masks of all time, Cool Napalm, also from Surreal Skincare. It looks like a vampire facial. It's bright red when you put it on, and it's like cold. It's like a fire and ice. It gets really hot, but then it cools down. Um, again, incredible for acne, and it's a scary surfacer, so highly recommend. One of my favorite shampoos, the Scalp Revival from Briogeo, get in there, you scrub your scalp because it has micro exfoliating beads in it, but they're eco-safe beads, best. Amazing shampoo. This is the uh, lash primer, which I use in my eyebrows, and if you're interested in how the heck I use a lash primer in my eyebrows, um, comment below and I can make a video on how I do my brows. And then to go along with my brows, this is the Kush Fiber Gel, and I use the shade Cypher. Oh, one of my favorites. This is a hair growth serum that is 100% clean by Collective Lab Laboratories. This activating serum is incredible. It has eucalyptus in it, so it does tingle the scalp a bit. And you use, I use like one pipette every day. Squeeze it all over your scalp or wherever you feel the hair growth is slowed or you're thinning, and your hair will grow back. It's crazy. Um, this is a Myro container. Um, ooh, there's a little bit of product in there. Um, but I have another one, so this one can be recycled. And this is the Glow Recipe, oh, the Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Mask. Now, I'm all about retinol. I love retinol. But I don't feel like I noticed that much of a difference. I had the moisturizer too, or I had the, sorry, not the moisturizer, I had the face mask. And it was fine, but I think it's a very like OTC, like over-the-counter retinol. It's not super effective, but it's not going to not do anything. I just think that it would have to take a long time. And because I have so many products I need to test, I'm like, homegirl, I need to see some type of efficacy or I'm moving on. But obviously, I finished it and it's fine. I just don't know if it's my number one choice. Actually, I do know. It's not my number one choice, but it's fine. Lunch break. This, my mom made this incredible salad. It looks like probably like mush, um, but it is, it's seared tuna. I don't live with my mom, by the way. I went to my parents' house and then she gave me some extras to bring home. Um, a seared tuna salad with a ginger miso dressing. Oh, girl, that's good. Oh, this one's a really good resurfacing serum. Honeymoon Glow Pharmacy, highly recommend. Really good. Um, melanin overnight lip serum from milk makeup fun two of my favorite masks so good so so good the overtime mask which is an exfoliating mask from summer fridays and then the r and r mask this is also an exfoliating mask from summer fridays both these are excellent um this one is more exfoliating with pumpkin enzyme and then this one has rose in it and it has a little bit more of like an oil base to it but it's excellent, it's amazing. The, you can't go wrong with either of these, they're so good. And only get one, you don't need both. More serums, oh, one of my favorite. This recovery oil is incredible. African Botanics, I love them always, always, always and forever. Everything is so expensive, everything's incredible. 
this intense recovery oil. Wow, I barely even use oils on my face, but I will use this 110%. Um, and then this is the cannabis facial oil. Again, I don't really use that many oils on my face unless it's incredible. This is from the brand High. It has cannabis in it. It's, it's an oil for me. I'm like, I don't really see that much of a difference. Um, and then the mask Hydro Lift Intense. This is a hydrating and lifting mask from African Botanics. Wow, that's all I need to say. Wow. And then ooh, the Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. A lot of people like this for calming skin. And it is really nice if your skin's just like really broken out and really aggravated and you have dry skin. This is a really, really good mask. This is by Ren Clean Skincare. It's really good. And then um, this is the Beauty Counter SOS Acne Spot Treatment. Mm. And then Blistex. It's great. We love it. So that was bag two. Okay, so bag three. This is a, more of like a hair bag. So this one has two containers of the S Curl Old School, Old School Curl and Gel Wave Activator. And you're probably thinking, Che, S Curl? What? Obviously, I'm not perming my hair at all, and I'm not texturizing my hair, but S-Curl, well, Luster's S-Curl, that canopy also has a gel and wave activator, and what this does is it restores the hair, restores the hair's proper moisture balance, and it really does, and I know it's old school, and honestly, actually, once you go through each ingredient step by step, or one by one, they're not terrible, which is surprising, because this is $4.29. They're really not terrible, and it has done, look at this, wonders for homegirls' hair. Okay? Do we understand? Hello? Um, and I'm gonna continue using it, because it's great. Next is Weatherline Extreme. I now have the huge jug with the huge handle. It's like literally like this big. It's the size of my face, it truly is. And this gel, I saved my life. Specifically the one with this navy gray lid because there's a million different ones um, I've seen people like I'm testing all four wet lines and there is slight differences the biggest difference with this one is extreme fixation is at 10 right and there's a 24 hour hold but the thing is it holds but there's no crunch and that's what I wanted I didn't want my hair to be crunchy because I only only do wash and goes that's it I'm in the shower I'm out the shower a shingle that's it. I go to bed, put my hair in a bun, it's wet, I wake up, I blow dry it, and that's how it is for the next three days. Easy, then I can put my hair in like big poofs, I can put my hair into ponytails, whatever it is. But once my hair's wash and goed, like this, I can do whatever I want. And this is what's helping me. I flew through this, it was only $3.99 for my beauty supply. Come on, you can't beat it. It's also $2.99 at Target, and they have the, see this one is the 15.87 ounce. They have the 35 ounce for $2.99. What? Amazing. But um, this is the only size they had at my beauty supply, at one beauty supply. And then I went to another and they had the huge jug. I said, girl, give me the jug. Long story short, this is incredible. These two together are the best. I can't explain it enough. Try it and then comment below and let me know if you tried it. More Briogeo. Look at this Briogeo. The Curl Charisma Curl Defining Conditioner. Just a good conditioner. And then this, ooh, this deep conditioning mask is very, very, very good. I have to recommend this. Um, I, every once in a while, like obviously I'll deep condition, and this one's really good. Ooh, one of my favorite cleansing uh, cleansers, the Deep Cleanse by Tatcha, has little micro exfoliants in it, so you can give yourself an exfoliating treatment every day. This one is one of my favorites. She's expensive. But it's really good. Um, a Passionini. This is a retinol cream. Now this retinol cream I can get behind. The other one I was like snooze. This one is really good. If you're just getting into retinols, start with this one before you go into like the Peter Thomas Roth 3% retinol. Start with this one. Um, it's gentle enough, but it is effective. Look, another one, another one. And then another Carmex, because you can never have enough. This is the Kush Lip Glaze. This is great. If you want to look like you have gloss on, but it also is still like moisturizing, hydrating your lips from the inside out. It's good stuff. Okay, and we're down to our last bag. My absolute favorite, one of my, one of my absolute favorite, 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 I can't say it enough, sunscreens is the Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen 
by uh, Neutrogena. Again, I usually only use clean products, but the thing about this is one, there it is, there it is. It leaves your skin with this gorgeous glow on it, um, whilst also, I'm trying to get the rest out of it, whilst also obviously protecting your skin from the sun. What more could you want? Glow, glow. Ooh, honey. Yes, ma'am. It's so good. So I literally have two bottles of it because it's so good. I have a third one sitting right there on my desk. Look how big this bag is. Oh, it's heavy. And she's full to the top. Okay, so in here, prescription retinol from the old dermatologist. Another cool day palm, because I love that mask so much. This is a vegan milk moisturizer, a great hydrating moisturizer. Two serums from Good Molecules. They're both just like good starter serums. If you're just getting into skincare, check out Good Molecules. Honestly, it's great basic starter skincare. It's just a step up from the ordinary, I'd say, in price. The ordinary is still great, so don't get me wrong. Oh, my favorite. This is Nail Teaks. And what it is is it's a nail protein that you paint on every day and it creates obviously a hard layer. So what's on my nails right now? These are my nails. It's literally just powder. But the girl, homegirl cut my nails too short and I didn't even ask her to cut my nails. And I was like, hello? Um, so she added powder. You can see it on the bottom there. She added powder to like make my nails longer, which is why it was so easy to break this one because it's just powder. Anyway, I never get my nails in, but my mom treated me, so I was like, okay. Anyway, what I usually use is Nail Teaks every single day, and it grows my nails so long. This is the one nail protein that I can recommend. It is the best in the market right now. Get it. Oh, this is the Maki and Acai Berry, Acai Prickly Paraguji Glow Oil. Really pretty from Youth of the People. I really love this oil. Neosid. This is a neosinamide treatment. It's by a brand called Slurp. It's really good. They're actually really tiny. I recommend checking them out. It's a pretty incredible oil. Uh, well, it's a serum. And basically what it does is you apply it and it really focuses on your acne treatments and literally just basically fluffs up your acne scars so the scars aren't so deep. It's really incredible. Here's another, oh, this one's really good. Here's another um, Good Molecules serum. And this one is the Super Peptide Serum. This one I highly recommend. If you're just gonna get one serum from Good Molecules, start with this one. It kind of has, it's like the end all be all. It targets fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, and has tripeptides in it. Really good. I didn't realize I went through so much stuff. Another Kush Grow House. Another Acne Assassin. Oh, really, this one's so great. This is Eminescence Clear Skin Probiotic Moisturizer. Great, if you have um, acne, She's a good one. Oh, one of my favorite brands. They're not like really big in the US at all, and I don't know why, they're so good. And I've written about them multiple times because they're so good. This is by the brand Allies of Skin. This is a clean brand based out of Singapore. Uh, incredible. And this one is the Promise Keeper Blemish Sleeping Facial. You wanna get rid of your, your acne overnight? Get this, please, it's amazing. And then this one is the Bright Future, and this is the Brightening Facial overnight all these are overnight facials incredible so smart they are expensive but they're clean and they're so effective this is a really good uh, leave-in moisture mask if you need it this is an old school nars bronzer it's like sticky that's how old it is it's expired Ooh. an expired becca sh uh, shimmering skin perfector and this is in shade opal another kush brow gel and cipher Another Summer Fridays mask. This is the OG, the original. This is the jet lag mask. It's just a hydrating mask and it's so good. Another bacteria blaster from Scrub Skin, Surreal Skincare. You can see like commonalities coming, right? Blistex. Um, again, if you're just getting into skincare and you kind of don't know what moisturizer to get, Sweet Chef, which is an off a sister brand to Glow Recipe, has their superfood vitamins and moisture boost. This is a really good moisturizer. Again, a starter moisturizer this is great. Um, Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Obviously, I finished it to the last drop. This is a great morning morning cleanser. Or again, if you're getting started into skincare, this one's really good too. And it's very gentle if you have sensitive skin. So I highly recommend it, actually. 
Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. Really good. I have a little tester. This is a really, really good setting spray. Ooh, Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Potency Power Eye Cream. Now, this eye cream, I can get behind. This one's really good. It's brightening, and you can see a difference after 30 days. You can see a difference. Your under eyes most definitely are brighter. This is the Very Cherry Bright Vitamin C Serum. The whole cherry thing and cherry being brightening, I still kind of like, maybe. Um, I didn't see that much of a difference, to be honest. Doesn't mean it doesn't brighten, but I just feel like I didn't see that much of a difference. Take from that what you want. Okay, I have a couple of these. This is my brand called Phyto C. So this is their B5 gel, which is a moisturizing gel. Uh, Selenium C which is a brightening serum. Oh, this is uh, for UV rays. And then this Super Heal Olive Serum. And this one, oh, this is for wrinkles. Oh, okay. so this is an anti-aging serum. This is for UV rays, which is great, of course. And then this is like a moisturizing one. All of these I think are fine. I think they're just okay. I think they're more expensive than they're worth. I didn't really see that much of a result. And also, this stained my skin red. So, not stained, like as in like four days later, I'm still red. But overnight, I definitely was red. My pillow was red. So, I'm kind of just like, mm, don't really think they're worth it. Another grow house. This is Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Glam Rock. So good. Their glitter liners are excellent. I highly recommend. All these milk makeup sticks. This is shrunken and, and expired. Cooling water stick, which is great. Um, and all these are matcha cleansers. Again, great for travel. But they're, they are expired, so gotta go. Ooh, this is really good. The Blemish Targeting Gel by the, um, yeah, Grown Alchemist. This is a really good acne gel. These are the toothpaste that I do travel with. This is by Bite, and they're toothpaste tablets. So basically, you wet your brush, your toothbrush, and then you put a tablet in your mouth, you chew once on the tablet, and you start brushing, and it starts to become a foam. It's really incredible, and it is clean. So I highly recommend these for travel, and they're so tiny. Another acne assassin. I'm telling you, I love this stuff. It's amazing. But Plain Jane, this is a daily moisturizer, and it also has SPF 20. Again, by Surreal Skincare. This one's so good. Another activating serum by Collective Laboratories. Again, I cannot recommend this stuff enough. If you want your hair just to be fuller or you want to grow back hair in patches, get this. Another Kush Brow Gel. This is the Kush Lip Balm uh, in Green Dragon, right? Yeah, this is green. I've like dug in there because I love it so much. It's really good. African Botanics, this one, another eye cream. This is like the number one best, 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 best eye cream. It's just very expensive. This is by African Botanics. This is the Resurrection Eye Cream. It will resurrect your under eyes. There's no other way to say it. It's the best eye cream there is on the market right now. It's amazing. And then the Lippy Balm by Drunk Elephant. This is their lip balm. It is so good. I dug out every portion of this because I wanted it all. So good. Youth the People, this is one of my favorite hyaluronic acids. This is the Tripeptide 5 Vitamin C Hyaluronic Acid. So, so, so good. One of the best there is on the market. That's about it. All the rest of it, there's like these like little lids that you know come in the lip balm, like the moisturizers. And the last thing in there is the Agave Lip Mask by Bite. Alright, so thank you for hanging out and going through my empties with me. I hope you found some things that you're interested in trying or got a review on some things that you were like, oh, I wanted to try it, but now you know not have to spend your money on. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you know the next time I post a new video. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye!